okay, so so these are two people that I that I know and I've interviewed. So yeah. Bam Man Kevo, I, I haven't heard of any snitch allegations about him. What are the two of his co-defendants in his Fed case tried to say that he snitched on them? Okay, they thought I wouldn't look into who they are. Come to find out, both of them had profits, five K ones, gave information, snitched. One of them had to move the city he was in once this information came out. But both of them actually snitched. Okay. None of the shit that was in their paperwork was in Kevo's. Huh. But it's in theirs. So they try to accuse him. Obviously, he's the breadwinner. He's the only one that's still relevant in the situation. They try to accuse him of snitching. I cleared that. Nah, he didn't do none of that shit. But everything you said he did, y'all did. And then they went missing after that. Mm. Nobody's heard from them since. Okay. And the other person you mentioned was Rollo. Right. Is Rollo out? I think he comes home in November. Right around the corner. Yeah. Shout out to Rollo, man. Shout out to him. M- me and him did, I think, a couple of interviews. Mm. And uh, me and him were actually really cool. Uh, like, like, I remember after one of the interviews, um, you know, that there was a title on it that was a little bit over the top. And I remember he called me and he was like, yo, Vlad, listen, um, my kids go to private school and this title is sort of affecting, you know, their them continuing to, you know, go to this school. Could you could you please change it? And I'm like, no problem. He didn't call me up like, yo, you better fucking change or else. I know. Like, yeah, he's respectful. As much of a, you know, as a street guy as he's known to be, he called me very politely yeah. and asked me if I could do it. He didn't demand it. There was no tough talk. There was not, and then after that, me and him kind of like, you know, would talk and communicate, you know, just about just various life things and stuff like that. So when he got arrested, I'm like, damn, like, I like this guy. Yeah. And people try to say that, like, the Vlad interviews is what got him arrested. The Vlad interviews had nothing to do with the shit. They always <laughs> you, try to say that. They try to say that. I mean, he got arrested for, you know, transporting a bunch of weed on private planes. Yeah. You, you know the case. Mm-hmm. So pe- at one point, people try to say that he was snitching. Yeah. And, and what, what did you find? Well, what he did was he full on admitted that he was going to pay someone or a group of people a large amount of money. I think it was like 400000 to take the rap because what they would be charged with wasn't really going to do nothing. And the amount of money that he was offering is more than they obviously have. Okay. Um, so he came up with a story that never existed. It was like, look, I can tell you all about this. I can tell y'all this, that, and the third. They got this, they got that, whatever, whatever. And the feds were like, we don't care about that. We want to know about these shootings. Hmm. We want to know about what's going on with this shit. He wasn't willing to talk about that. So none of it ever happened. The person that he had that was going to take the money to go down for some shit, he's like, yo, yeah, I know this person's selling this, that, and the third. None of The person ain't even selling it, but that person's going to be like, yeah, I was doing that. Okay. Just to take it, and he was going to try to come up with some fugazi shit to give the Fed something to get a reduction. It never went through. But at the same time, his paperwork clearly states his case took so long, all of his co-defendants were already sentenced before it came time for him to actually be able to cooperate. So nothing he could have gave would have affected anyone because all of them were already sentenced. Mm. Okay. So he never snitched on anyone in his case. He tried to come up with some fuck shit, put it on somebody that was willing to accept money. That fell apart. They tried to use that against him to say that he snitched. I mean, is that a charge in and of itself, trying to pay someone to take a charge for you? or Possibly. But they they never pursued it. He so wasn't it's, charged. It, it wasn't charged. It was just like it, that whole thing just fell apart. And that's he probably only had to admit that because of the allegations. 